So, Blue, I'm sure you remember just a few days ago me sending you some cryptic messages about picking a couple of games and then I'll have people vote on them but not explaining why. Yes, I do remember that. Okay, now you're about to find out why I did that. I am intrigued and aroused right now. Oh, I knew you'd be aroused. So... If we go and we look at this, the polls, in the Discord Dishonored Definitive Edition won by one vote. But I did tell you I would also be doing a poll on YouTube where right. Garfield won by an astonishing, like, 10 votes. It, it was 71% Jeez. compared to Super Blood Hockey at 14 and Dishonored at 14%. So Garfield Cart is our winner. All right, all right. You still don't know what we're doing. No. But you will have a week to do it. For right that's, now, that's fine. I need to ask you. I have a wheel, a picker wheel, and I need to know if okay. you would like to spin it or not spin it. It has two options on it. There's a P and a D. Now, if I were to ask you if you wanted to spin this wheel, you can tell me if you'd like to spin it or not. Um, yeah. I mean, you want to seems... spin the wheel? Yeah. So we're going to spin the wheel now, Blue. Final Jeopardy time. What's that wheel game? Oh, wow. It looked like it landed right on the end. <laughs> right in the middle. Um, okay, Blue, so you landed on P. Would you like to guess what that P means? Uh, all I can think of is with the P and D, it's penis and dick. So. Penis and dick? That's a pretty close guess. I don't blame you for not being in the know at all. At all. Now that you know the game, you know that you're P, I will tell you what the P and D means. One stood for defense and one stood for prosecution. Now oh. we know that you're the prosecutor in the very first, the world's first game jury. Game jury, okay. So we know we're playing Garfield Kart and you're the prosecutor. Your job is going to be to explain to everyone why Garfield Kart is a bad game. And it will be my a job. Bad game. Oh. A bad game. It will be my job to explain why it's a good game. There's no rules. You can do anything you want. You, you get to write a script, a video essay on anything in the world you want. You get to record it. You get to give that to me. I will edit it. In your script, I'm going to need you to point out any kind of editing techniques you want or anything like that. All right. So okay. I will also exchange my script with you so you know that I'm not going to change my defense for whatever your prosecution is. So that Defense. Uh, uh. Defense. Uh, uh. 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 So there, okay, I said there's no rules. There is one rule. It needs to max out at 10 minutes. So if you go over 10 minutes, if I find what I'm editing, I can't shorten it down to 10 minutes. There might have to be some changes. I'll let you know. Basically, you'll have a week to play the game, get whatever footage you need. And remember, there's no rules at all. If you think of a rule, it's not a rule. You don't have to ask me. I'm not going to explain what that means, but you should know what that means because why? Uh... There's no rules. There's no rules. Thank you. So you can do whatever <laughs> you want for this script. But remember, you're trying to convince the world that Garfield Cart is a bad game. America. Whatever that takes. Or, the, or America. Garfield Cart is very patriotic. This is the first, the world's first game jury. All right. All right. Fascinating. You'd think I'd be excited to know what you're going to write about, but I'm very concerned because the Bill Murray Garfield movies are fucking horrible. <laughs> This is uh, really bad for me. Bad for you, yes. Yes. No, it is. So for... Also, my mom's a lawyer, so... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I picked you because I love you, and I didn't think that this was going to bite me in the ass. But this doesn't seem uh, good. I just want to come out and say I don't have high hopes for this game. The comment section will decide if it's a good game or a bad game, and the next video I'll, I'll reveal at the beginning. So the next... Because this is a collab series. Every time I'm going to do it against someone else. So the next one at the beginning, I'll announce whether it is a bad game or a good game whatever it takes for you to convince them but uh cool blue i mean may the best man win but uh, i yes what what was that what was the hesitancy there oh, that was my thinking noise you're thinking you don't have to think too hard on a good clean fun video you don't have to think hard on that despite how I mean, hard i had to think to create that sentence it's the that's the loser talk the loser talk <laughs> Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Did you know, throughout human history, humankind has innovated every time that we have the chance to. Many big innovations have hit the scene thanks to us. Wheels, vaccines, technology. But we can't say which one is the biggest. In recent decades, we've made some some pretty big advancements. We've made some things that have become integral to our lives. But still, 
Nothing can be crowned the biggest advancement in human history. Except for Garfield Kart. The greatest innovation in human history. Well, I just started editing uh, Blue's half of this video and I'm not totally sure he understood the assignment. He was <laughs> supposed to be prosecution, but as you'll see, the game was maybe too good and he couldn't resist defending it. So yeah, you're supposed to be voting if it's a good game or a bad game. I, I, it's all of this is hilarious considering what he told me in the preliminary meeting. But yeah, please remember to vote at the end of the video if you think this is a good game or a bad game. Uh, get out and vote. Or is it a voting? You're the jury. You're the jury. You decide. Good game or bad game. Try to try to decide. Go from court. He likes that. So why is Garfield Kart the greatest innovation in humankind? Well, let me tell you. It's got a variety of maps that take you through the Garfield story. The emotions you feel going through the neighborhood, the city, uh, the desert that Garfield was in for an episode, probably. I don't know, I didn't watch all the show but it was probably a big plot point. And you know what? That makes you feel things. Things in your soul. And not only, not only is it the wide variety of maps, but all the characters, all your favorites, Garfield, Odie, John, uh, Squeak. Who doesn't love Squeak? He's iconic, all right? And, and you know, as far as playability goes, there's so many modifications you can make to your car. A total of five. That's a lot. There's power-ups, there's pie. Good old-fashioned American pie. And you can fart on people. That's the American way. Oh, I thought it was an American flag over there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just the gameplay that makes it good. It's Garfield. What isn't there to love about Garfield? He's orange. He likes lasagna. He hates Mondays. Do you hate Mondays? Yeah, everybody hates Mondays. Even bad people, like people who like cats, <laughs> like Mondays. Oh, welcome back. You know, we all know those things about Garfield, but what you didn't know. Did you know that Garfield is actually Bill Murray? All this time, Bill Murray's just been an orange cat in a human suit. Now, if you're not familiar with Bill Murray, he was from such hits as What About Bob, BC Rock, and my personal favorite, he was the star of Space Jam. Bill Murray, as we all know, has had never had any problems. No controversies, no anything, a perfect person. But he's also a superhero. Garfield once saved the world with the Garfield Superhero Force Avenger team. That's what Avengers was based on, guys. That is canon. Everybody knows Avengers was based on Garfield. And finally, last but not least, Garfield was the president of the United States of America. And what's more American than that? Huh? Apple pie? I don't think so. Get out of here, you commie bastard pie. Everybody likes cake better, all right? Fuck you, apple pie. And in conclusion and summation, a vote for Garfield is not only a vote for Garfield cart or those of Garfield kind. A vote for Garfield is one for America because nothing has done more for this planet or this country than Garfield the cat through Garfield cart. So I ask you, fellow countrymen and women, to stand in these YouTube comments and vote for Garfield Cart. Stand against the oppression. Stand up and vote for what is right. Vote for Garfield Cart being a good game because not only is it a good game, it is the best game and it is the best thing. Nothing has ever been better than Garfield Cart, and that's why we shall vote for you, Garfield.
the American way. To be here today defending an American treasure, a real hood classic, disturbs me to my core. Garfield Kart is a staple in kart racing simulation. I'm sure even the prosecutor couldn't deny its significance in modern gaming. Blue Liner probably told you a lot of distasteful, untruthful, negative things about this game. Hell, he even told me some of the things he was going to say about the game for some reason. I want to say I'll be doing this for Bill Murray. His, his performance as Garfield in the movies didn't uh, wasn't quite given the justice it deserved, and I, w I will be making up for that. So, uh, Being that this is the first one that I'm doing, I was not expecting you to tell me what your script's going to be about. I'm sure he did all that just to rattle me. I don't know. He has a way of manipulating others sometimes. It's unfortunate, but I'm not here to slander him by any means. At the end of the day, he's a genuinely good person. Even good people can be wrong with some things. I would like to note that no one who worked on the Garfield movie also worked on this game. I could talk about this game till the cows come home, but I'm sure you'd like to see my star witness. That would be Marcel, known by most as the world's greatest Garfield cosplayer of all time. Do you wanna, you wanna say anything? Hey, wait, 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 it's okay. It's okay, Marcel. Yeah? You like Garfield cart? No, oh, you're a good boy. 10 out of 10 from the greatest Garfield cosplayer of all time, Marcel. Good job. Now, why did the world, the universe, take so kindly to this game? Why did everyone just seem to love it when it came out? The amount of love it really received is undeniable by anyone. I would argue the biggest contributor to its success is actually Mario Kart. You heard me right. Nintendo has a long line of quality IPs and video games, but there's one massive problem that every one of those titles shares. You can only play them on Nintendo systems and nowhere else. In today's economy, you're asking a lot for us to own multiple consoles at a time. That's why we need games like Garfield Kart. The developer's bravery in making gameplay that rivals the juggernaut that is Mario Kart is commendable and its success is very notable. The game features a staggering 16 original maps, eight drivers and an insane amount of outfits, cart decorations, collectibles to, to gather and earn and unlock in the game. Featured modes are races, Grand Prix, and time trials, all of which are more fun than they really deserve the right to be. While you fly around on the course in intense head-to-head -head combat racing, you'll pick up items to use on enemy drivers all of which are hilarious and delightful. Got a need for speed? Pop a hot little lasagna into your hot little mouth. Been getting knocked around a little bit too much? Spray a bottle of that Vroom perfume and protect yourself for a few moments. You can really feel the effort that went into Garfield Kart the second your pedal hits the metal and you get going on your first match. But I have to warn you to be careful because this game is incredibly addicting and you run a severe chance of getting chair locked just playing it even one time. There's no such thing as one potato chip, just as there's no such thing as one round of Garfield cart. No, sir, or ma'am, or person. I can sit here all day and talk about my love and admiration for Garfield cart, but I'll still not know exactly how you feel about it. Here's what I'll do for you. After this case is over and the verdict's been decided, you and I can go run a few rounds of Garfield Kart Furious Racing, the sequel to the game, which features a fully fledged multiplayer online mode. And it's a lot of fun, I swear. At least I've heard it's fun. I've heard it's an absolute blast to play with friends and stuff like that. Someday I might know what that's like. I'm sure then I'll love these games even more. Really know, 
and he likes lasagna, hates Mondays like an American show. Beautiful.